no other combination more sophisticated or easy to work with than a monochromatic theme. Use the color scheme to customize everything, from the table setup to the linens to the flowers. All the small details will surely add up to a good time. Ever since author Truman Capote's legendary black and white masquerade ball held at the Plaza Hotel in the 60s, black and white parties have become quite stylish. Feel free to overlay textures as well. Grab pillows from indoors, hang linens, anything to enhance the overall theme will create a much more dramatic look. Don't feel like your event has to be a formal sit-down occasion. Tonight we've set up a bocce ball for guests to entertain themselves. To show us how to pull off such an amazing event, I'm here with fashion icons Kim and Joe Mimran. Kim, can you tell us what the inspiration was for tonight's event? Well, I always like to tie the whole evening together. So um, the inspiration for tonight was black and white in honor of our new little French Bulldog, who's black and white. Joe, do you have some tips on how to throw an amazing party? Well, the first thing is good cocktails. <laughs> but I, I think it's about getting all the elements right. You know, the lighting, the music, uh, the, the flower arrangements. Uh, everything's got to feel, just, you know, the way the house smells. Everything's just got to feel really, really good when you walk into somebody's home. And, uh, and you've got to welcome them uh, like their family. So what are some tips for those of us at home planning such an amazing event? Well, I think you, it's starting by think, using, utilizing things you have because I think, you know, to redo everything is just not feasible. Um, and, you know, it's just like updating it with a napkin color and we went very simple, black and white, because we have all black and white and it made it sort of easy to coordinate. I think to keep a, a, a party really simple and easy to do, keep the elements consistent. You're going to pick a flower, try and run the flower right through the entire house so that, again, you're not challenging yourself with a lot of flower arranging and then, you know, again, when you're talking about the table settings, try and keep it really uh, very easy and very manageable. And I think that's where you can go wrong, overdoing it. Once you, you try too hard, it, I think it, it looks a little forced and, and you, can, you can get yourself into a big expense as well. You want to be conscious that you want people to be together, so you, you don't want them all in the kitchen when you're having a backyard barbecue. I think it's by placing the bar in a certain area so that you get you get people to mingle and walk through and get real use out of the property. To get good flow too, you've, you've got to move some furniture around sometimes. So on our terrace, for example, there's, there's nowhere to sit. So that forces people down into this lower area and, uh, and the bar really pushes them all the way all the way through the house and, and, and just little things like that that you need to be cognizant of. Yeah. And creating an atmosphere. I think it's important to create enough and you get that by lighting and music. Oh definitely. And I and you know we 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 are we're having sort of a elegant dinner party so the music is a little bit, you know, sort of it, it's not harsh. I think it's very important to enjoy yourself at your own party because if you're fussing too much, then you're, that energy goes out to your guests. So I think it's really important to, you know, have a good time at your own, like it's a party. Make your guests feel comfortable. Don't overdress so, that, so you, don't, you don't make your guests feel uncomfortable right. when they 